my Chevrolet, turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we want to go, I know I'm going to get there next to you. And baby, I know wherever we go, got the wind at the backs and the sun coming through our windows, burning down the tread on four wheels, high on life and loving you. Get the map, all the rules, everything you learned in school. Drive under a Texas sky, a slow road gets us there in time. I know I'll find my way if I'm with you. And baby, I know wherever we go, get the wind at our backs and the sun coming through our windows. Burning down the tread on four wheels. High on life and loving you. That KOA on the road in our Chevrolet. Turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we want to go. I know I'm gonna get there next to you. Hi, guys, welcome back to Real Time on the Ranch. My name is Mike, and uh, yeah, we're cruising along, we're checking out cows, and uh, we're seeing what's going on here on our ranch. And, Northeast Wyoming. Thanks for coming along with us. A little bit different type of video today. This is actually going to be a premiered video. And if you've never had a chance to hang out with us for a premiere video, basically all that means is that the moment this video comes out, and I'm going to upload the video, have it ready to go. And if you subscribe to our channel and you hit the little bell button, then you will get a notification saying that we have a premiere coming up in three hours or whatever it may be. Then all you have to do is meet us here and you can watch the video along with me and a ton of other subscribers where we get a chance to chat during this very video. Now if you're watching it later on, that's totally cool too. Uh, you can still comment below, let us know what you think and hopefully next time you can meet us if you subscribe and hit the little bell button. So I promised you in our, light, in our last video, which was Tuesday, uh, that we were gonna come out and take a look at the cows and that's exactly what we're doing today. Uh, the week has been a crazy week here on the ranch. Uh, spring obviously finally kind of got caught up a little bit. Um, we've uh, we've really gotten into the gardens. We, Aaron's working on the gardens and getting those up and up and ready. And and uh, harvest hose started up, so all of a sudden we have our beer staying on the ranch and all that kind of good stuff. So honestly, like the whole the whole week has just uh, has kind of gotten away from us. So I thank you for letting me do this type of video where we just kind of get to hang out and talk a little bit about what's going on and uh and and where the ranch sits as of right now which is what i don't even remember the date what is today's date march uh here let me check march it's not march it's may 28th there we go about 1 30 in the afternoon so uh depending on what time you're watching this uh good evening or good morning or or uh possibly even good afternoon depending on on where you're at so we're out here checking out cows and i'm gonna see if i can swing up and take a look at this little guy right up here one of the interesting things that we get to do with this type of video is that it's pretty much all uncut it's raw video and it's your chance to really uh kind of come along with us there's a prairie dog right there see it see that prairie dog darn thing uh it's your chance to come along with us as we head out to do whatever it may be may be that we are doing and actually do it in real time Hey, number two. You coming over to say hi? <laughs> the number two again. We've met her before. Hi, I'm, I'm not giving you any cake right now. I have to talk for a bit. All right, so number two had her calf. Her calf's right over there. You can see it if she moves her head. Number 47 back there is her calf right there. And uh, she had her calf a few weeks ago, and I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on where we are for the calving season. So I got my little cheat sheet here. So right now we are up to 80, let me just make sure of this. We are 
we are up to 86 calves. 87 is our next calf. Um, we are calving out right around 100. So we're, uh, we're coming, hi, how are you? Hi, yeah, you're getting me all slobbery. Yeah, um, so we are, we're calving out right around 100. So we've got about 10 cows left, or 10 cows left to calve. We've lost a couple calves along the way, but uh, overall it has been a really decent calving season around here. And a lot of that, I'm gonna clamp you guys up here so I don't have to hold you. And I'm gonna turn on my light here because I forgot to do that earlier. Let me see, where's the switch without looking at it. There we go. Uh, so <laughs> this is part of being the real time thing. Uh, part of, uh, what has made this such a successful calving season is the fact, not that we had a bunch of twins because we didn't have one set of twins, although we did have a couple years ago, we had like four or five sets of twins, which makes your numbers work out great. Um, it's been such a mild spring. We really haven't had any bad weather uh, that we can count for, that we've lost calves. We haven't, uh, it's been really, really uh, kind of a good calving season, unfortunately. That also means we haven't had much moisture, and we're going to be getting into that in the next couple of weeks as we uh, as we take a look in, into haying season and how um, how or if that's going to happen here on the ranch. Number two is really checking us out here. Look at this, just hanging out, staying in the road. Yeah, she says, "Don't leave. I want cake." Okay, so <laughs> the camera okay so uh basically so we we're up to 86 calves um the average age of those calves ah, this is kind of why i like editing uh the average age of those calves 25 uh days old so they're getting up there they're starting to get we're going to go out and we're going to look at some of the bigger calves and some of the earliest calves that we've had um we are currently uh 55 percent bulls and 45 percent heifers and normally uh we do want more bull calves than heifer calves because uh those bulls will become steers hi hi how are you and uh you know stuck your tongue in my mouth um those bulls will become steers Ugh. and uh they'll grow a little bit faster than the heifers. Um, they're actually worth a little bit more at auction then. So that's where we sit calving wise. Um, we're gonna go out, oh, a little fight there. Somebody's a little territorial. Hey, why are you being a turd? Why'd you chase that other cow away? Don't get me all slobbery. Okay, we're gonna go out here. We're gonna check the cows uh, and make sure everything's okay. And then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing we're going to swing back around and uh, see what's going on. Is that you that just hit the gator? Yeah. We're going to swing back around uh, and see what everybody's up to uh, around the ranch. And we've all had a really busy morning, so this is kind of a, a nice little chance for me to take a break and come out and, uh, and see what's going on. We're going to see uh, what we can find for some of our well-known calves, including Number two is out here somewhere. That was our first calf that was born in the season. Uh, we also have uh, number three, which is April, if you remember that calf. And then, of course, uh, number one. Um, we kind of had some backwards numbering that happened. Uh, but anyway, uh, number one is a really cute calf that's out here also. So we're going to try to find out. Ah, I see number one right up there. We're going to swing up there and take a look at these guys and, uh, and see how everybody's doing. And we're also looking for new calves while we're out here possibly number 87 and get uh, him or her tag if, uh, if him or her has been a heck of a week for the pronouns. But... All right, so we're heading up here into the sagebrush. Uh, cows have been in this pasture for now, uh, well, all the way since, uh, what, December of last year. So they've been definitely eating in this pasture. There is number one. Kiddo, how you doing? And away he goes. All right. I did see April out here earlier when I was checking, and I really don't know where she may be, but she was actually our premature calf uh, from a little while ago. Doing great though, in case we don't find her, I'll tell you that she's doing really well. 
She was over here in this general area. Let's swing over here and see if she's over here. Hey, kiddo. That's not her. single cap sometimes out here. It's like looking for a, a needle in a stack of needles. Nope, that's number 72. Getting a little bite to eat. Hey. It's okay. Go back to lunch. April's at. All right, but we will keep on cruising through. Maybe we'll find her. Maybe we won't. Trust me, though, she's doing great. Now I'm checking as we come out here and just looking really to see if there's any cows that are off by themselves. But this time of year and this late in calving season, you know, we like I said, we've only got 10 or 12 left to go. Um, we really don't see them separate themselves off as much as we would earlier in calving season. I don't know why exactly that is. I'm sure there's some sort of psychology behind it, but my guess would be that, you know, the cows are used to calves being around. There's more protection maybe in the, uh, in the, uh, in the herd situation. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but whatever it is, we do see a lot more cows that uh, are having calves just right in the middle of the herd. And they just drop them and boom, there's a calf. So that makes it a little bit trickier uh, when you're trying to keep track of calving because you pretty much have to look at every single calf and see who has tags and who doesn't because they'll really kind of sneak them out this time of year. Uh, blonde cow, we're still waiting for blonde cow to have a calf. That's definitely one that's uh, gonna be right there at the end. Lunchtime out here, there's number eight. Now that's one of our earlier calves. That is a big calf. Um, probably, probably at least maybe 150, maybe even 200 pounds right there. Big boy. Also, we're gonna swing by and we're gonna see Cole uh, as soon as we're done doing this. I'm trying to limit this video. I'm gonna try to keep it underneath 30 minutes and uh, so we can swing back. We'll see, we'll see Cole, see what he's up to. Uh, we'll have to go find Erin and see what she's doing. I know uh, right before I left she had just opened the farm store, which is uh, our local outlet for our beef and our pork and our chicken and our vegetables and baked goods and honey and all that kind of good stuff, um, all available in the farm store. So if you happen to be on vacation coming through the area, feel free to stop by and, and, uh, and check out the store. A few cows hanging out back here. Not many. Pond obviously going way down. Normally, actually where I'm driving right now would be underwater in a normal year. Of course, it's not this year with the drought. There's 
number four. Not quite number three. Seems weird to, oh, turtles. Missed them all, did you see all the ripples there? There was a bunch of turtles. You see their little heads sticking up, I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at them, tons of them. Oh my gosh. Uh, keep on cruising here. Don't see any new calves? At least today, we have not had a new calf all day long. So the other thing that happens, um, you know, later on in calving, like now, is, you know, and I, I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but they really don't get as much. Uh, attention during calving as they do early on in calving. The weather's worse, obviously, so you really have to keep a close eye on them. But uh, now it's kind of a—I hate to say it's you know fend for yourself because it's not, but it is very much you know we get out, we check cows a couple times a day, but that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll come out, we'll cake, we'll, we'll check on them, and uh, other than that, they're pretty much on their own. excited to see me all right so our main goal like I said is just to check on the cows really put eyes on every single cow and then that's pretty much all we can do at this point we can't go out and make them have calves although I kind of like to Noticed all the bee boxes. I'm going to roll up my window because we're going to go over here by the bee boxes. Uh, all the bee boxes here on the ranch. Uh, these uh, are a friend of ours. He's a beekeeper. He keeps bees here on the ranch. Uh, we're able to sell honey that's directly from the ranch. And uh, right now, all these beehives are getting ready to. Some of them will stay here. Some of them will actually be spread out uh, all over northeastern Wyoming and on different ranches. There's actually a whole nother truckload coming, so there'll be twice as many as what you see here. up into it here you can really see the bees here going crazy I'm going to pull right up over here because there's a bee box that doesn't have a lid on it. Um, which I'm not going to fix right now because the bees are going crazy, but you'll get a good look uh, right inside the beehive if I can get close enough to it. and I didn't get a single bee in here. All right, we're already at 20 minutes here into the video, uh, so I am going to basically uh, take a quick gander through the rest of these cows, 
I don't see any new calves. I see this little cute calf over here with a white dot on his head. See this guy, number 84? That's a cute calf right there. Belongs to number 14. This is one of the uh, ones we call eyebrow cows. Hey, come here. No, hey, people want to see you. Where are you going? Get over here. Come here. Hey, hey, cutie. Hey. want to play along all right now let's head back to the house we'll check in with the Erin and see what she's up to there's number one again dipping some lunch oh sorry I'm gonna scare you I'm sure they hate it when I come out here all right Let's go find Erin really quick, check in with her, see what she's up to. Maybe she'll take us over and show us the gardens really fast. And actually, I can show, I can probably sneak you over and show you what Jeff's up to today. Uh, ranch hand Jeff is working on the other side of the road uh, where he's getting a brand new plot ready for, uh, for gardening. So, might be able to sneak over there and take a look at that as well. Oh, there's blonde gal. There's blonde cow. Blonde cow is our last cow uh, of the season to have her calf, at least according to ultrasound. Uh, she isn't due until June 14th, I think. So we're getting there. And a ways to go. That doesn't mean she's gonna be the last one to have a calf, but she uh, she's slated to be the the latest one. So we shall see. All right, let's head back. All in real time, guys. Thank you for coming along with me. Let's kind of ride along. Thank. Hopefully, you like the premiere too. And and uh, throughout this video, I've been able to chat with you guys live. It's kind of like kind of like a live stream without the uh, the horrible. Um, reception or whatever you want a horrible video quality um, that we sometimes get out here in the field sometimes it's great sometimes it's bad so live streams are always a risky gamble doing this is a little bit a little bit more safe all right uh, let's head on up over the ramp here hey there's Aaron let's see if she wants to talk to us along with a couple of our kids there's Bean. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's going. We're uh, we're doing a video. I'm aware. <laughs> Can we go over and see your gardens really quick? There's nothing to see. Well, you made raised beds. You well, put in like drip irrigation. Twelve tomatoes planted and yeah, some drip. Yeah, go ahead. You're not coming with us? I'm hungry. Okay, go get something to eat. You want to go, Grace? Grace wants to go. Okay, she can come with me. You want to come with me, Grace? Just with the... It's a work in progress with the gardens. Okay. And there's a lot of seeds planted. Very little's up. Potatoes are up. <laughs> no judging. Yeah, no judging. We're behind. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to go do that. Okay. And then we're going to wrap things up. Okay. Get ready for our premiere. Fun. Okay. Okay, have fun. Yep, have good lunch. What are you having for lunch? I don't know. Okay. All right. Lincoln. You ready to go, Grace? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to go over? Did Lincoln not eat lunch? He had chips and dip. Okay. Let's go get some food, dude. Bye-bye. Lincoln. What? Lincoln had chips and dip for lunch. Mm -hmm. What did you have for lunch? Um, hot dogs and strawberry and frosting. Hot dogs and strawberry and frosting. Oh, that sounds yummy. All right. We're going to head over to the high tunnel see what mom did this morning okay and then we'll go across the road we'll see what Jeff's doing Hi. okay Hi. all right it's hot in here. it is hot in here all right heading up and over deer fence is still there I don't see any deer why does the, why does the 
deer could hop over it? <laughs> What'd you say? What if a deer could hop over the bench? What if what if a deer could hop over? Like what if it like what if you like left a box there and then they stand on it and then they They'd have to be a big box. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's uh, see what we got here. So this morning, uh, this is what took up most of our morning, was getting this high tunnel done. In fact, if I would have thought about it, I would have actually put a time-lapse camera in here and had the whole thing. But by the time I thought of doing that, it was we were like halfway done. So we did these raised beds in here, and then these are tomatoes, right? Yeah. I thought the tomatoes hang up from there. They do. They go all the way to the ceiling. Tomatoes go all the way to the ceiling. And over here, I think uh, cucumbers or something, or peppers maybe. Do they say? Do they have a label or something? Sometimes they do. Let's see. Can I walk down here? Yeah, you can walk. These are also tomatoes. Those are tomatoes. Good job. Uh, big beef tomatoes. What is that? Oh, that's um, peppers. Peppers, Orange. cool. And then tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and all kinds of cool stuff in here. Tomatoes, and then these are orange tomatoes. Orange tomatoes? Cool. Tomatoes. And what is what is all this stuff, do you think? Mm. What do you think that is? Is that how it waters? Yeah. It's called drip line? It has wet drips. Wet drips, yeah. You can see where it's watering those ones over there, the cucumbers, I think those are. Very cool. So yeah, this is what Aaron's working on right now. And what are you gonna plant over there? Peppers go over there. Most peppers and more tomatoes, I think. Huh. Yep. I remember the tomatoes more being in the middle. Yeah, there was a lot of tomatoes in the middle. All right, let's uh, let's swing over. Let's see what Jeff's working on, and then uh, we'll let people get on with their day. Okay. Okay. Can you jump in the gator there for me? Did you know this is the best part of my day? Getting to hang out with you. You have three radios in here. I have a lot of radios Dude. in here. Dude. Yep. One. Somehow they all collect in here. All right, we're gonna head across the road, see what uh, ranch hand Jeff is working on. Uh, he is actually putting in an entire, because we don't have enough to do, he's putting in an entire new garden while well, he's helping. He's actually tilling, uh, breaking ground on a new garden that will be exclusively a squash and melon patch, if I remember right. So like, like watermelons and honeydew lemons and different How squash. How many gardens does mommy need? How many gardens does mommy need? Yeah, she only has, she already has three. She already has three, but apparently, and the high tunnels. Yeah. So she needs more apparently. She needs lots more. Yep, that's very true. So in here there's food or out there? Right back there, there's uh, some of our harvest toasters. Those guys here, uh, they're from Hawaii, amazingly enough. I don't know how they managed to drive that truck across the ocean, but they did. And they pulled their trailer across. You don't even get my joke. They're from Hawaii, yeah. which is an island. Yeah. And, they, and they came with a camper, mm -hmm. so they must have floated it. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know either. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Maybe they got a camper over there. Maybe. Stop. All right, we're getting ready to wrap things up, but I promised you we'd come over and and see what Mr. Uh, Ranch Hand Jeff is up to. Well, oh, you're looking pretty slick today. You don't want to see this. Oh, you got something wrapped around there, don't you? No. No. Have a look up under there. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. What am I looking at? Is there something broken? Oh, that's not good. Not yes, what is that? I don't know. A piece of metal of some sort right here is what we're looking at. So once we're done with this video, you know what we'll be working on. Trying to get that thing off. It's just stuck up in there. I think this plate right here will get us out. Yeah, if we take that off. I think. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Anyway, since we're over here, Jeff, 
That's what I'm working on. This is what you're working on. A brand new, uh, on our way over here, Grace said, uh, how many gardens does mommy need? All of them. All of them. <laughs> All of them she can have. This is huge. This is going to be uh, melons and squash, if I remember right. That's correct. So this is going to be a big old patch of garden. I see the steers are back there behind the fence silently judging what you're doing. <laughs> but it looks good. It's, it's coming together. This will actually all be covered up with tarp or landscape fabric or something and then holes burned into it. Um, so uh, we don't have to worry about weeding this, thank Daddy, God. Yeah. What's going to protect it from the horses? Well, we're going to have to put up a fence. Mm -hmm. So they don't try to eat them. See all those fence panels over there? Yeah. We're going to move those to go straight across right here. So then the horses don't eat the food and stuff like that. Right, and then the horses won't eat all the squash and mm -hmm. watermelon and whatever else there might be. Mm. All right, well, um, you want to bring that thing over to the shop and work on it over there? Yeah, I can't get it, yeah. Yep. Okay, let's <laughs> do idea. that. All right, so Jeff is going to drive the little tractor back over to the shop. We're going to pull out that piece of metal that's jammed up in the uh, rototiller. Can I help? You can definitely help. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna hang things up because I have to get this video uploaded and get the premiere scheduled so that you guys can watch what we're watching right now. It's a little bit of Back to the Future action going on. So, do you like Back to the Future? Yeah, you do, you're a good girl. All right, let's head back over to the house. What? In the meantime, guys, thank you very much uh, for joining us today. The, the work never stops, we're gonna see if we can get that big chunk of metal out of that rototiller. I don't even know if you guys can see it in the video, but it's in there. And it. you couldn't see it? No. But how do you get up here? Well, it's gonna be a trick. We may end up having to take the rototiller off and flip it over. No, I said how did it, how, how did it get, the metal get up in there? So I'm guessing the metal was on the ground. Yeah. And when Jeff went over, scooped it scooped it up. It. Yeah, crazy, right? Alrighty guys, that's it for us today. Grace, you have anything you want to add? Anything you want to say at the end here? Nothing? You don't want to say, I'm in third grade now. Hi. You are, you're a third grader. Congratulations. You graduated to the third grade. Your sister's going into fifth grade. And what's Lincoln going into? Um, kindergarten. Lincoln's going to be a kindergartner. All this makes me feel really old. But I guess you're only as old as you act, right? Mm. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. We're going to go and take a look at the hay fields and start uh, getting our, our uh, well, we're going to start thinking about next winter. We're going to start thinking about how we're going to feed cows and what we're going to feed cows. That's all coming up. So be sure to subscribe, follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> The future is fun because um, you don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm.